Hi, HM Saints. I want to talk today about another saint that we often use when getting ready for First Holy Communion and who can help us all the time appreciate Jesus in Holy Communion, and that is Saint Claire of Assisi. Everybody say, Saint Claire of Assisi. Of course, uh, Saint Claire was a good friend with another famous saint from Assisi. Do you know who the great famous saint from Assisi, Italy is? It is, of course, Saint Francis of Assisi, uh, who everybody knows. Saint Francis, he was, uh, you know, loved animals. That's what most people know about him. But of course, he also loved poverty and uh, was a, a great uh, preacher and uh, had the stigmata. We're going to talk more about that a couple of times and talk about First Communion Saints and, um, uh, you know, things like that. So, um, a lot more to him than just being the patron saint of pets. <laughs> anyway, St. Clair was uh, his good friend, and when he started the Franciscans, she started uh, the same sort of thing for girls, and um, so they called the girls the Poor Clares, because just like the Franciscan brothers, the Poor Clare sisters lived in poverty. They didn't own hardly anything at all. Um, but what happened, uh, or as far as thinking about Holy Communion, St. Clair gives us a great example of faith in Jesus's power in Holy Communion, because one time there was a great battle outside of the city of Assisi between the German army and the Italian army. And see, back in those days, cities always had walls to protect them from invaders or armies or things like that. And so uh, the, the city of Assisi is up on a hill. It had this big wall around it, and the, the two armies were out in the, the valley, uh, the field in front of the, the town of Assisi. Now, the, the sister's convent, the poor Claire's convent, was built actually into the wall of the city. Uh, that's usually where uh, houses that are poor or the people who live in them are poor are because, of course, nobody really wants to be built into the wall of the city. Uh, but it was. And so in the middle of the night, the German army decided that they were going to sneak into the city of Assisi so that they could get more food and, and things that they needed for the battle and kind of take it over. Well, they decided, they said, where, where are we, should we try and uh, get over the wall at? They said, we should do it right here. And we know there's a convent of nuns on the other side, and they're not going to be able to stop us. They're nuns. So in the middle of the night, uh, all this, the nuns hear the sound of ladders being put up against the wall and grappling hooks being thrown up on top of the wall. And they look out, and there's all these soldiers underneath the wall. And so they all run to St. Clair because she was the, like the mother superior in charge of all of them. And actually she was sick in bed at the time. And they said, Claire, Claire, there's soldiers. They're going to get in to the convent through the wall. And St. Clair was not afraid. She said, do not worry. We should put our faith in Jesus. And she went into the chapel and she went to the tabernacle and opened the tabernacle. And inside the tabernacle was the ciborium. Everybody say ciborium. The ciborium looks like a cup or a chalice, but it has a lid on top of it. That's the easy way to tell. And, of course, inside of it is where we keep the consecrated hosts. So St. Clair picked up the ciborium. And she walked to the window where the soldiers were climbing up to try and get into the convent. And, um, and she held up the ciborium. And all of a sudden, all of those strong, violent soldiers, who were all men, of course, uh, they were all terribly afraid. And they, they quit scaling the walls. In fact, they ran away. They ran away from the whole city. They just left. And so St. Clair's faith in the Eucharist uh, not only saved herself and all of her sisters and nuns, uh, but the whole city of Assisi.
See, why were all these soldiers afraid? They couldn't have been afraid of St. Clair. She wasn't uh, dangerous. They couldn't have been afraid of all the nuns. They were somehow afraid of Jesus in the Eucharist because Jesus put forth his power to protect his brides, right? Because that's what nuns and sisters are. They're like the brides of Jesus Christ. So uh, we should have that same kind of faith that Jesus is there in the Holy Communion with great power, that he protects us when we come to him in love and in prayer. So let's ask St. Clair to help us when we receive Holy Communion. They have that same kind of faith, trust, and confidence in Jesus present in the Holy Eucharist. Now let's say our a litany of the saints. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Tarsicius. St. Thomas Aquinas, Blessed Imelda Lambertini, St. Clare of Assisi. All right, IHM Saints, we'll see you later.